<laughs> so this is the route that we used to come through when we lived at Easington Lane or Rayton Bridge or Fence Houses or Houghton in Spring. We used to come down into Crook this way. Now when we came through where the Queen's Head is here, that white building there, now fireplaces and stoves, that used to be an ice cream parlour. Italian ice cream and we used to get a bucket of ice cream and then take to my grandparents and I used to have a scoop in a glass of lemonade but without fail every Sunday we used to come through here every Sunday and it is on this street that I learned to ride a push bike it was a girl's bike and I sat on it my feet wouldn't even touch the floor but I would I sat on it and my granddad pushed me and said go on then and I pedaled like buggery down this bank from round the corner but that's the house there that's the house that I used to in fact that top window there is where I watched out of and looked out of to see me granddad going to work on his bantam he used to put a plank on those steps to get it up there and where that shed is that's where the outside toilet used to be And that garden where the netting is used to be full of roses. Absolutely full of roses. So that's where I used to spend every Sunday, every school holiday. And in fact, I would go as far as to say, as I mentioned before, I feel that's where I was brought up. So what we're going to do is now go on the route that I used to go on with my granddad sitting on the back with my bone dome on my leather rimmed flying goggles with my hands around his waist as I used to say as soon as we got through that door Granddad can we go on the bike? Come on Granddad please take me for a ride on the bike So on the little BSA Bantam, this is the route that we took. So 50 years ago. Crooktown Football Club and just to the right of there, in fact more or less where this little roundabout is, to the left up there used to be the train station and so the railway lines used to come across the road as we went down to Bishop Auckland but the train station used to be just up there so we used to turn left just before the church And whilst we go on it, I'll mention a story. He used to come the other way, coming back from work, and used to cut his engine out. And it was on this bend here that my granddad tried to beat a bus to try and get a little bit more out of the fuel in his motorbike. And he crashed with the bus. 
and ended up in hospital. He used to free wheel down this bank. But when it was with me, we used to go up it. Can you imagine a BSA Bantam? Two up. Well, I wasn't very heavy when I was ten. And we used to come up this bank. I used to have a smile wider than the horizon. It was also on this bank, because we used to go the other way. This is the, road, the route that we sometimes used to take coming into Crook, the other, the other way than what I'm going now. And I recall looking out the windows of the car and seeing the snow drifts higher than the car. But I remember vividly, vividly, my arms round my granddad, my head just to the side so I could see where we were going. And as we get just to here, we start to go down a bank. And I was shouting, faster granddad, faster, faster. And he went as fast as he could down here. Talk about the ghosts of a time gone by. And then we used to cut down into this road here, down into Billy Row. Just look at the view, and you wonder why I love the countryside. I actually feel right now as if my granddad's on the pillion seat. So this is where the train station used to be on the right. Just in there. And that's where my grandfather also had an allotment. But it was from here that we used to take the steam train down to Bishop Auckland, me and my grandma.